History textbooks are filled with stories of empires, battles, and towering figures. But amidst the grand narratives lie smaller, often overlooked tales, glimpses into the lives of ordinary people from long ago. Today we're traveling back in time to the Italian peninsula to learn about the Apennine culture. Picture a rugged mountain range, the Apennines, forming a spine that stretches down the Italian peninsula. Scattered across these slopes, Apennine settlements took shape, each village boasting its own style, evident in the pottery, tools, and weapons they crafted. This individuality raises fascinating questions. Were they isolated, or did they interact and trade with one another? As time marched on, a new age dawned, the Iron Age. This shift brought with it a stronger, more versatile metal, revolutionizing various aspects of life. For the Apennine settlements, iron likely transformed tasks like farming and warfare, leading to potentially greater yields and sturdier weapons, which could have resulted in better defense or the rise of new conflicts. While the Apennine people forged their own path in the mountains, they weren't untouched by outside forces. Greek traders, their ships laden with goods, ventured westward in search of new markets. Upon reaching the shores of Italy, they found more than just potential customers. They discovered a gateway to a world of diverse cultures, including those of the Apennines. Beyond material goods, the Greeks brought with them a powerful unifying force, their religion. Temples dedicated to mighty gods like Zeus and Athena rose, fostering alliances between city-states around these sacred sites. The influence of Greek religion is believed to be far-reaching, possibly shaping the beliefs and practices of the Apennine communities. Greek ships crisscrossed the Mediterranean, their holds brimming with treasures such as intricately painted pottery, gleaming bronze, and perhaps even exotic spices. These goods transformed the coastal towns of Italy into bustling centers of exchange. In return, the Apennines offered timber from their mountains, sturdy livestock, and unique craftsmanship, finding buyers among the Greek merchants. The most significant Greek outpost in Italy was the vibrant colony of Cumi. Founded on the Bay of Naples, it became a thriving crossroads where cultures mingled and ideas flowed freely. Within this buzzing marketplace, the Apennines likely interacted with Greeks, perhaps observing new technologies, hearing unfamiliar stories, or even bartering their own skills for sought-after goods. Cultural exchange rarely flows in only one direction. Renowned for their adaptability, the Greeks likely encountered intriguing customs and techniques within Apennine communities, possibly adopting local farming practices, learning new crafting skills, or even incorporating elements of Apennine stories into their rich mythology. These interactions, built on trade and the exchange of ideas, laid the groundwork for the rise of a future empire on Italian soil. But this development was also intertwined with another influential presence, the mysterious Etruscans. The Etruscans, known for their stunning art, elaborate cities, and sophisticated culture, were formidable in ancient Italy. The nature of their relationship with the Apennine people, whether as rivals, trading partners, or allies, remains a topic of fascination. While the Apennine people may not have left behind imposing cities or grand monuments, they played a vital role in shaping Italy's ancient landscape. The web of trade, knowledge, and ideas that stretched across the Mediterranean ultimately fueled the rise of one of history's most remarkable civilizations, Rome. The greatness of Rome wasn't achieved overnight. It was built upon a foundation laid by countless cultures, a legacy that included the dynamic Greeks, the enigmatic Etruscans, and the resilient people of the Apennine Mountains. History often focuses on grand battles and legendary figures, but the true story is far more intricate. It's woven from the lives of ordinary people, their interactions, and the enduring impact they leave on the world. It's a story that stretches across centuries, connecting seemingly insignificant moments to events that would shape the course of human history. The tale of the Apennine people challenges us to look beyond surface-level narratives, leaving us to wonder about the countless lost stories and the cultures that faded with time. If the tale of the Apennine people has captured your imagination, let this be your invitation to dive deeper into the rich tapestry of history. Seek out the hidden narratives that lie beyond the grand empires and legendary battles. Like, subscribe, and share the stories that resonate with you, for it's within those smaller moments, within the lives of ordinary people, that we find the beating heart of history. 
Stay tuned for our next video.